Hi, my name is Ricky Arnold on the International Space Station. We get asked a lot, how do we sleep in space? And it's a great question because we all know how important a good night's sleep is. Um, if you're not getting a good night's sleep, you can count on reduced cognitive function, poorer reaction times, and maybe just being a little grumpy. And up here in space, just like on Earth, those are things we all want to avoid. So, we go around the Earth about every 90 minutes, which means we get 16 sunrises and sunsets a day. So how we sleep is a really good question because the sun's always getting ready to come up or it's getting ready to set and we use those cues on Earth to let us know when it's time to begin our day and when it's time to end our day. Ricky is talking about circadian rhythm. It's the body's natural regulator for sleep and wake cycles based on a 24-hour schedule. Those 16 sunrises and sunsets he mentioned can cause circadian misalignment and sleep deficiencies during long-duration spaceflight. The hazards of lost sleep can range from poor attention at school to on-the-job errors to long-term sleep loss, even chronic disease. Sleep is super important. Hey Ricky, what are you doing on the space station to get some sleep? Well here in space, we kind of have to do it artificially. So we have these nice crew quarters. It's about the size of a refrigerator. It's very quiet. Um, the space station can be a little noisy, but it's very quiet in here. Um, and we can control light with a light switch. If we uh, are just middle of the day, we have a light, a light like you're seeing right now, which is just this kind of standard lighting. It's getting close to the end of the evening. You want to dim the light a little bit, kind of for the end of the evening. Or if you're going to be up late, you need to keep awake. We have a really bright light setting. The other thing we have is off. You see how dark it got. Um, Another challenge sleeping on the International Space Station, sleeping in microgravity is really nice because you can just float and stretch out and it's really comfortable. The problem is with the air currents in the International Space Station, you could very well float into a piece of hardware and hit your head or worse yet, even break something. So we got our sleeping bag here, just almost like a sleeping bag on Earth. But as you can see, we have bungee cords that help hold us up against the wall. So I almost sleep standing up and also I do have a pillow, it's just a bag full of, uh, of clothes, but I actually keep it up on the top of my head because I'm a little tall and the crew quarters, I tend to hit my head on the ceiling when I'm sleeping. So I got my sleeping bag here, I got my bungee cords to hold me in, and then when it's time to go to bed, it's quite easy. Just unzip the sleeping bag, climb on under the bungee cord, climb into the sleeping bag, make sure you're nice and secure, Zip yourself up, plan on getting a good night's sleep so I have good reaction times, my cognitive ability is what it should be, and that I'm not grumpy in the morning. So with that, I'm all set. Good night from the ISS. Subscribe for more space.